but it's Archie's fourth birthday. Good morning, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. I am sure that by now you have all heard that King Charles and the British monarchy have, have, the, have had the audacity to schedule a coronation for a king on the same day as Meghan Markle's son's fourth birthday is. I know. I know. It's, 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 it's shocking. Only if you're a crazed, deranged sugar. You know, they're making such a big, like, first of all, it should, it doesn't matter if it's his birthday or not, but it's not even his fifth birthday. I mean, a fifth birthday is like a milestone. This is a kid that's going to be four who barely even knows his name, but it's Meghan Markle's son. And that's what the issue is. That's what the issue is. He's special because she's special. She's he's important because she's important. I have to say that you know for as long I've seen a lot of ridiculous stuff come out come out about these two. This one so far now has taken the top spot. It, it, it it's just beyond. I'm sure you agree. Fox News internet debates if King Charles the third coronation date is a slight to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The king will be crowned on May 6, 2023, the same day as his grandson Archie's birthday. The horror. Archie's fourth birthday. And again, it could be his hundredth birthday, and that shouldn't really even matter. It's just a day, and the kid does barely even knows. Anyway, did, how many of you out there remember... Uh, when you were four. Very few. And I can't think of a more cool thing. That's that's given if these two go. That's for speculation. For later. But it's not a slight to prick Harry. It's a slight to Meghan Markle in the narcissist mind. I can't wait to see. HG Tutor may have done a video about this. I'm not sure. But I can't wait to see. I can't wait. <laughs> to hear what he has to say. But I'm just going to show, before we proceed with the article, I want to show you a couple things uh, that just will give you the tone of the sugars and their madness over this. R. Crussy on Twitter, that old tampon had to hijack a four-year-old, a four-year-old's birthday and make it all about himself these people crazy a four year now keep in mind this is the same four year old that uh, King Charles has only met probably less than a handful of time handful of times that lives on a different continent and not even the part of the continent that's closest to England on the absolute other side of it but it's Meghan Markle's son and make it all about himself. King Charles III is emotionally immature. Right. Somebody that... <laughs> I just, I'm just going to keep reading. <laughs> is that the way the royal family can seek relevance? Um, be, these people are acting like that everybody and their mother knows and cares that it's little Archie's fourth birthday. This is the same... King Charles the Cruel, who is blocking their tile, titles, denied Archie security, etc. Um, from what I understand, R. Cressy, they asked for money instead of the titles. And their titles are only blocked when King Charles says they're blocked. There has been no statement and denied. Uh, we know, oh God. I posted this on my community page. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you may not. Um, Ian Sexton, headmistress of the Sussex Squad. Uh, those who on Twitter will are those who are on Twitter are more than familiar with Ian Sexton. Now this could sound like a joke, folks, but the fact that he writes, "Am I right in understanding?" So somebody has told him this. This is not coming up with this on his own. Am I right in understanding that the whole line of succession quote thing has been thrown out of the window and Charlie boy will abdicate on May 6th so that Prince Archie can be crowned king on his birthday? It just makes so much sense. 
Maybe to you, Ian. Maybe to you. Reality is going to be very cruel to you on May 6th. Troy Brown, Sussex Squad, Assemble, May 6th. I showed you this guy. Uh, I posted this on my page too. May 6th, 2020 feet. We ride for Archie. Now, Archie, the same kid that they've been, that they have very few photos of, and the same kid that they actually have to Photoshop pictures of, you know, Archie and Lilibet, you know, the ones they've never seen. Archie's day, in spite of the coronation date. They could have picked another date. We ride for Archie. Sussex Squad, Archie, Prince Archie. Prince, God, I'm just seeing this now. Prince Archie of Sussex, give me a fucking break. Following the announcement from Buckingham Palace on Tuesday, King Charles III's coronation at Westminster Westminster Abbey will be on May 6 next year. Some on social media have been debating if the date could be a slight to his son, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle. It's not. It wasn't even considered. They're the logistics has to be planned they're that's why they're pl- you know they're just not picking something next they're not able to do it next week and just decided to do it on May 6th to slight Meghan Markle it's this is about Meghan Markle it's not even about Archie May 6th also happens to be their son's Archie their son Archie's birthday he will be t- turning the big 4 the big milestone birthday of four years old during the coronation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have had a strained relationship with the rest of the royal family after they decided to step down as senior royals in 2020 and move to California. Perhaps that's why a four, uh, three-year-old's birthday was not considered. Their persona non grata. And even if that is his birth, you know, I was born on August 26th. Do you know how many things have happened in the world since 1979 on August 26th? And no one's been up in arms about that. My parents certainly weren't up in arms about that. Charles spoke kindly of the couple, facade management, in his first speech. He spoke kindly and then he did a, you know, they're making their lives on another continent uh comment first speech is king on september 9th saying i want to also express my love for harry and megan as they continue to build their lives overseas i don't even think archie archie's big milestone birthday of four would have even have been considered even if they were in the i mean this is ridiculous it's this is ridiculous folks but the couple also saw their royal profiles on the family website demoted to the bottom of the page since charles ascension megan and harry and the rest of the Sussex squad are more angry about a four-year-old's big milestone birthday you know that he's going to remember than they are about this website. Although Harry and Meghan's children have the right to prince and princess titles since their grandfather on the throne, no announcement has been made. What a shame. Charles announced that he was bestowing Prince William and Kate Middleton as the Prince and Princess of Wales during his first address, but sadly nothing of Archie and Lilibet, Harry and Meghan's youngest child, because they're not in the monarch. They may be genetically part of the royal family, but they're not part of the monarchy. They're not working royals. When are these people? When are, I don't know, in the comments section, folks, do you think these people are ever going to get this through their head that these people quit and they're not a part of it? I don't think it's ever, and it's not just Prick Harry and Meghan. It's, it's report, it's reporters, it's journalists, it's, it's mind boggling. I wonder why King Charles chose to hold his coronation on Archie's birthday. I'm sure that they don't have calendars everywhere. You know, whoever was planning the logistics, you know, this is going to be happening in a major city. There's, what, 50, I, I, I could be totally wrong on this, but I'm just going to ballpark it, of 54 Commonwealth countries that are going to be a part of this world leaders coming in. And this was the best day, you know, but it's, It's Archie's birthday. It's Meghan Markle's son's birthday.
birthday. I'm surprised she hasn't complained every year since he was born that the entire world hasn't stopped spinning and is telling everybody to be angry with God. Maybe so his grandson could share his special day. Yeah, I mean, if if it is on his birthday and if they do go, like, how cool would that be? He might actually remember his birthday now, his big, you know, the big milestone of four. Or he's done this to seal his grandson's thunder. What thunder? There would be no thunder. They wouldn't release any pictures. They wouldn't say anything about his birthday. They would have showed the back of, you know, the back of his hand or something or a picture from him or the back. What thunder is there to steal these people hide this child, both of the children? There is no thunder to steal. Does Archie have... How many people had thunder on their fourth birthday? Even if you're a celebrity's kid or, um, you know, other royals, did you have thunder on your fourth birthday? I can't. I can't. One Twitter mused. One Twitter user mused. Another claimed, Charles III wants media to bombard Prick Harry and Meghan until next year, who, who they'll sacrifice to have Archie's birthday in peace. Well, isn't that what they want? Isn't all they want is peace and privacy? Or is it that they want thunder that's up for being stolen in the USA or a messy, chaotic, stressful coronation for a cold fish father in the UK? Charles continues to be a horrible person. These people are crazy. Charles chose his coronation date so he didn't have to attend Archie's fourth birthday. Was he going to the oh my god, folks. Was he going to be attending Archie's fourth fourth birthday in Monty Scheit at the Hacienda of Monty Scheit's show or a Chuck E. Cheese down the street? His selfishness is astonishing. Would King Charles have even been invited to this thunderous, thunderous fourth birthday? A third remarked, while a fourth suggested it would give Harry a great excuse not to attend. Right. I hope they do have a party for Archie and they don't attend. But Prick Harry and Meghan wouldn't miss those photo ops, even if they are snubs or no snubs, for anything in the entire world world i'm although they will probably be mad if archie isn't doesn't at least get to wear the crown on that day you know king archie another said charles is now using harry's children in his spiteful hateful pr game harry (laughs) harry would be wise to tell this man f you and your coronation what are the odds of that happening you know the man that he needs money from the man that he wants titles for or, you know, or, you know, benefits from. Although that's never stopped them before. I hope him and Megan throw Archie a hell of a birthday party. A damn blowout for a four-year-old. But this just isn't any four-year-old, folks. This is Megan Markle. Megan Markle. The Megan Markle's four-year-old. So Charles' coronation is set for Archie's birthday. I am here for the drama, someone else wrote. Well, who's creating the drama? Because from all I like, the only drama I can see is Megan's PR machine creating it and the psychotic sugars with emotional issues. Someone else wrote. You know, and then there's a headline... Oh, that's not it yet. Others called him petty, selfish, and gross. Because I, you know, I highly doubt, you know, King Charles could have picked the day, said, I want to do it on May 6th. Or he was presented with, this is the day we're going to do it. This is the best for security. This is the best for planning. And it just happens to fall on your grandson, who you've barely seen and don't have any pictures of either. His thunderous private birthday party. Many, however, siding with the king. The way the Sussex squad is reacting to the news, you would have thought it said King Charles' coronation stomps out Archie's birthday, making it a candle in the wind, a defender of Charles tweeted. Others pointed out that Prick Harry played a polo match in Santa Barbara on Archie's birthday this year. Well, well. Prick Harry. But that's okay. That's okay. 
I don't know why Harry and Nutmeg are complaining about King Charles III, the third coronation being on Archie's fourth birthday, because he was out all day playing polo on Archie's third birthday. Yeah, well, he was um, pandering for money. And Megan could have been in the pictures. So he is hardly in the position to criticize anyone else, someone said. What a two-faced hypocrite. That's correct, but I still just don't understand. You know, every day of every year is somebody's birthday. You know, it, now imagine if this was President Joe Biden's birthday, would anybody care? Would they be saying, I can't believe the nerve of King Charles having this birthday on Joe Biden's birthday? Or, you know, it just, it's it's maddening, folks. Harry ditched poor, poor Archie on his third birthday to go play polo, so let's not forget that fact, another palace defender added. Well, that, that meant he could have had a piece, you know. Was Harry trying to steal his thunder? The kid is irrelevant, correct, considering he doesn't live in this country and will never be a senior working royal, correct. But King Charles' coronation, meanwhile, is a once-in-a-lifetime event of a 1,200-year monarchy. I mean, this is, the whole world's going to watch this, because we haven't ever seen one. I mean, very few people have ever seen it. Um... The kid, though, isn't irrelevant because, again, I have to remind you listeners, it's Meghan Markle's kid. And she's the most important person in the entire world. They're probably mad that, they, that you know whoever was planning didn't call them to check and make sure that it was okay. A third person used his experience as a grandpa to try and figure out the king's intent. There is no intent! It's not about, I mean, it's about King Charles, but it's not just about King Charles. It's about an entire kingdom and commonwealth of countries and the rest of the world taking interest in this. And the rest of the world and the commonwealth countries don't give a shite about little Archie. My th- theory as a grandfather on why Charles, um, Charles III's coronation is 6th of May. This way he almost certainly gets to see Archie on his birthday. He doesn't care. It's a non-issue. Try and leave Grandpa off the birthday list. Not this time. You're having a birthday in England, LOL. I would totally have done that. Now, can anybody see all these planners and King Charles saying, hey, that's Archie's birthday. Maybe we'll get to see him on that day. Let's have it on that day so I can see Archie. He'd see Archie anyway. The date is definitely not a snub, royal expert Katie Nichol told Entertainment Tonight calling it a happy coincidence and that's all that it is i can't think of a more cool birthday than going to your grandfather's thing but maybe uh, who knows to speculate is just a fool's errand folks obviously a huge amount of planning has to go into an important moment in history well it's archie's birthday that's the important moment no it's Meghan markle's son's birthday such as a coronation and the royal calendar is full of anniversaries and birthdays, so I think this is absolutely one of those occasions where it's a coincidence, and hopefully a happy coincidence, and the best day for it. The Sussexes are expected to be invited to the event, but it's unclear if they'll attend. They'll attend. Charles automatically ascended to the throne when his mother, Queen Elizabeth, died on September 8th. As tradition dictates, he will be crowned several months after his accession. So, yeah, (laughs) this is, what else is there left to say other than everything that I just said? And that these people, mainly Meghan Markle and then her Sussex squad, are the most disconnected from reality, emotionally weak, emotionally, I mean, who even gets this stuff started? I mean, it's just, it's its absurd. It's like, oh, it's on Archie's birthday. If they even care. I mean, nobody else cares outside of the Sussex squad. And Megan, Prick Harry, I'm sure, is even like, well, I don't know. Well, who knows? He doesn't have the balls to say, I can't believe he did that. Or not say that he can't believe he did that. So those are my comments. I can't wait to hear your comments. These people have serious issues, mainly the mother. 
the mother is the one that has the issues because her kid's important and nobody else is. But I can tell you, as important as her kid is, her kid is not as important as she is. So looking forward to your comments. See ya and talk to you later.